Good morning, folks. Today we've got deep space galaxies uncovered, nuclear synthesis astrophysics, and a dire warning for the United States, one many of you know already. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the Earth-facing half of the sun was fairly quiet. A couple pops and chromospheric motions, but nothing productive of CME activity. The same can't be said over the limb where an eruption did release off the far side. This one obviously will miss our planet, but it does look like the incoming week on our star could be a bit more eruptively active than the last week here. Quick look at the solar wind. As the plasma speed from the coronal hole is now dropping back, with the phi angle spending nearly the entire time in that deflect mode, where Earth's magnetic field can well guard against the coupling. No geomagnetic unrest from the modest stream. Let's start the articles with a deep space look at ever more hiding in plain sight. A bonanza, actually. Not one or two galaxies, but in a similar effort to that which recovered the lost light of Hubble, the GTC has probably changed astronomy forever. While the resolution of Hubble, on the right, is much finer due to it being in space, versus having to look through the atmosphere like GTC, on the left, it puts Hubble to shame in terms of how deeply it can probe discrete signatures of the distant galaxies. I'm very excited for more from that team. Alas, Hubble is still able to slew and capture transient events like an Earth-bound telescope never will, and they caught a supernova in progress. Interestingly, the mapping of oxygen, they say, in the region, plus the use of older Hubble images of the exact source, helped them nail down the progenitor of the stellar explosion. But there's a problem with using that oxygen. As you might recall, that Western Michigan professor already changed astronomy. This was in the October 14th morning show. Folks, in astronomy circles, you should see the old guard shuddering at this one, which suggests that magnetic fields are controlling nuclear synthesis and that they've literally got it all wrong throughout the cosmos. Of course, that very same day in the morning show, we also learned that 25 elements, including oxygen, can be made inside the mantle, so the oxygen look they used here maybe is only so helpful. Little cherry on the stellar synthesis topic here as we've also gone over the flare-induced elemental working at the surface of the sun, more on that variable nature and chemical uniqueness of every different event on our star. Now folks, we are going to go back again here and re-watch a portion of the October 19th show from just earlier this week. Folks, paper after paper the last couple of years comes out saying the extreme loss of sea ice at the polar region triggers cooling of the planet through ocean shutdowns and the heat transport and overturning circulation. Three of the most important journals on Earth carried the story and confirmed the pattern just since 2020. And of course, just a couple days ago we got the latest confirmation. The dansgaard oeschger events, the most rapid warmings on the planet, trigger Heinrich events and major cold snaps in mid and high latitude. Don't forget, the next Heinrich event is underway with the last thick sea ice beginning to destabilize. And also don't forget, the only major Beaufort Gyre study this year which looked at the record release before noted that it's still holding what is the greatest cold climate bomb the Gyre has ever seen. It's all going to come at once. Now, on to our top story. Cold is coming due to ocean shutdown. You don't say. Folks, that's the ocean expert Yin from Arizona, formerly at Princeton and NOAA, and Zhao, currently at Princeton and NOAA. Better listen up. The modern shift on this planet is shutting down that which allows many places to be warm enough to support our modern way of life, and this is a special warning for the United States. The heat upward east of the Rockies is basically going to shut down in winter. The Arctic will dominate the states as it does the Canadian Plains, and what happened in Texas last winter will seem like a walk in the park. As events like that record cold continue, we find them not as easily explained away as the extra snow we're seeing. Time to wake up. Even if we take every ounce of the human-triggered global warming story as true, let's play devil's advocate and let them have it. They are running in the wrong direction. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.